Here we are in the ancient city of Byzantium, which eventually became Constantinople, the territory of the Eastern Roman Empire, until Sultan Mehmet conquest of Constantinople in 1453, now called Istanbul. We're on the Bosphorus Sea, the crossroads of trade, civilization, and legends. The ferry is taking us from the European side of Turkey to the Asian side of Turkey, right into the heart of Istanbul. As we are approaching Amanunu Pir, minarets, the symbols of Islamic culture which stretch across Istanbul's sky adds to this transcontinental city's beauty. Once we get off the ferry, we are only a 10 minute walk from the historic square, now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Although we are not in Istanbul to shop, we still head to the Grand Bazaar, the oldest shopping mall in the world. In this covered market, there are over 4,000 shops and 60 streets to get lost down. The Grand Bazaar was originally constructed to generate income for Hagia Sophia, one of the historic sites we are heading to next. When we get off the tram, we cannot help but notice the two monuments that dominate the skyline. Unfortunately, the Blue Mosque is closed because of the ritual prayer. I'm a little disappointed. We came all this way to be swept away by its domes and stained glass windows. Needless to say, it is still impressive from the outside with its Muslim architecture and its six soaring minarets, from which the faithful are called to prayer five times each day by a crier whose voice carries everywhere. Since the Blue Mosque is closed, we walk the short distance to Hagia Sophia, Greek for Holy Wisdom. The Turks call it Hagia Sophia. This is the most obvious landmark left from the Byzantine Empire, and it's so breathtaking. It's said that when you see Hagia Sophia, you have seen Turkey. or Isa Sophia, the Turkish call it. I may be pronouncing it wrong, but this was constructed during the Constantine period. Um, it's been a church, an Orthodox church, and a mosque, and it's currently a museum, and it's absolutely stunning. There's prayer going on at the Blue Mosque behind me, prayer going on here, and it's unbelievable. Istanbul is an unbelievable city. I love it here. Well. Hagia Sophia was once the most magnificent church in all of Christendom before it was invaded by the Ottoman Turks. Since Islam was the central religion of the Ottomans, Hagia Sophia was renovated into a mosque, as evident by the minarets and Muslim scripture done in gold cal calligraphy.
This is an Omphelion, navel of the earth, a large circular marble section of colorful stones and an intertwining circular design in the floor. As Greek Orthodox was the official religion of the Byzantines, the Hagia Sophia was considered the central church of the faith and it became the place where new emperors were crowned. This ancient monument also contains 104 columns imported from the Temple of Artemis in Ephesus, as well as from Egypt. Interestingly enough, there is a wishing column that stays moist even in the heat of summer, and those who seek healing stick their thumbs or fingers in the hole. During this renovation, many of the Orthodox themed mosaics were covered up, but because Hagia Sophia is presently a museum, some of the paint and plastering were removed so you could see them. These were covered up not because they don't recognize Jesus, but because the Islam culture does not allow figural imagery in sacred places. One of the most impressive mosaics in the world is the Deasis, mosaic from the 13th century. In this mosaic is Virgin, Virgin Mary, Saint John the Baptist, and the Christ, who are begging for the salvation of man. Another Christian mosaic uncovered was in 2018 of a six-winged angel on the dome supporting arches. This seraphim depicts one of the four biblical angels that are believed to guard heaven. There were once many holy relics in the Hagia Sophia that were removed. However, one remains, a beautiful second century alabaster urn. Near the mosaic of Justinian, Constantine, and Jesus, the beautiful bronze door ornamented with geometrical and plant motifs and monograms of the emperors is believed to have been brought from a pagan temple in the Hellenistic Tarsus. Running out of time, we head to the historic square to the Hippodrome of Constantinople. It was once the site of chariot races during the Byzantine period. Still stands are the Serpent Column, which was removed from the Temple of Apollo at Delphi, and the ancient Egyptian obelisk of the Pharaoh Thutmose III, removed from Karnak and erected by Theodosius the Great, Constantine's successor. As I stand here, my gaze sweeps over the Hippodrome. There is so much rich art, architecture, and history. I know I will be back.